Hello, and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm just going to give a bit of a history lesson on the flat top haircut, and of course show in the background how this kind of haircut is done. According to Wikipedia and other sources, the flat top has been in and out of fashion since the 1950s. From conservative middle America to the U.S. military and NASA through to the U.K.'s post-punk psychobilly movement, the flat top haircut has undergone a range of variations. Developed as a longer version of the crew cut or buzz cut, the flat top maintains a square shape with defined corners and an equal length through the top, often with a fade at the sides and back. By the 1980s, the haircut saw more extremes, with a longer quiff fringe area graduating down to an almost shorn crown, or even a narrow strip of gelled up hair at the front hairline, combined with a shaved skull. In 1980, Grace Jones and then-boyfriend Jean-Paul Goud collaborated on the cover and artwork for Warm Leatherette. It featured her signature flat top, high top hair. In the hip-hop community throughout the mid-1980s, young African-Americans leaned towards jerry curls or simple haircuts without tapers or fades. In 1986, rappers like Schooly D and Doug E. Fresh had the first, somewhat developed, styles of the high-top fade in hip-hop. However, their hairstyles lacked the geometric precision of the more modern high-top fade styles. In the hip-hop community, one of the first public appearances of the more modern high-top fade hairstyles was in the Tramp video by salt and Peppa, released early in 1987. In this video, the dancers can be seen with this hairstyle. They can be also seen dancing in a new Jack Swing style form based on their wardrobe and choreography, which was not seen in other hip-hop and R&B videos at the time. In the mid to late 1980s, the haircut was often credited to Larry Blackman and Rory Wake, the lead singers of the band Cameo. Blackman had a hairstyle in the mid-1980s that was the forerunner to the high top fade, with the tall square flat top but slightly longer sides and back. There are numerous examples of rappers referring to the hairstyle as a cameo cut between 1987 and 1990, the most notable being in the Ultra Magnetic MCE's song Give the Drummer Some from 1988, where said G, who had a high top fade at the time, says, Cause I'm a real pro with a cameo and not an afro. So there you have it. If you never know now, you have a bit more info about the flat top haircut. I just want to give a thumbs up to all these various groups and individuals who shape this craft. But much more credit to all you great barbers out there who continue to work hard, day in and day out, to improve the craft. That's all for today, guys. Please continue watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks and have a great day out there.